Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Raftree, and I'm a director with Projects RH based in Sydney. Tonight, I've been asked to speak about energy and resources and the power to grow your business. Energy has been a focus of mankind since we can know the humankind began. Originally, many people worshipped the sun and adorned the temples to the sun with gold. What we've seen over the years is a great development of energy across the planet. The team at Projects RH has been very fortunate to have worked in that gold and energy business and across the resources spectrum. So they have developed skills, so they understand the language. But what's most important is those skills are transferable. They can be applied to large projects and small projects alike. Energy and resources often involve very large projects and large teams. What is important is that they go in cycles. So much of the development associated with the energy industry and the minerals industry is said to go through boom bust cycles. They're either very busy creating new projects or there's too much product. The energy and resources industries are both domestic in every country and global. That's an important concept to understand. In most countries, the domestic industry for energy is self-sufficient. That is, most electricity that's generated in a country is consumed in a country. Whereas, oil tends to be exported even as a refined product. Much of our history has really been a story of transfer of energy and resources from countries with to countries who need. And the result has been investment by the countries who need in the countries that have. So what's important to understand is that investments are made when they're profitable. So people need to be able to prepare evaluation. The second thing is that you may not be able to participate in a large project, but there are often smaller projects such as supply or ancillary projects which require business investment. Secondly, what we are seeing is that many energy projects, particularly in the renewable energy sector, are smaller or complementary. So they're building up the power along a transmission line what is happening around the world is we're becoming more interconnected. So the story of production is a global as well as a local one. So let's look at a case in, in point. Last year, three very large LPG facilities came into production, all based in the Australian state of Queensland. They've actually come in at a point coupled with COVID where they have forced the price down to about $4 in the spot market, when the cost of production is about seven. What will happen is eventually other people will not invest and resources will run down because we're consuming them. The price will go back above $12 and people will invest again. This has been the story not of the last 10 years, but the last 200 years. So what happens? Investment in these opportunities takes time and it's represented by a risk and the price people pay to invest. Customarily, shares in a resources company in the exploration phase may be said to be one cent. When they're going back to develop what they've found, five cents. When they go and get a professional study, 
10 cents. When they go to do the building of the project and they need to get bankable feasibility studies, 20 cents. And when they go to say, we're now ready to build and we need some money, 50 cents. What, they, what these prices do is reflect de-risking of the project. We at Projects RH and with our sister company, Tabatinga based in Singapore, work with country companies across the spectrum as they move to build their projects and de-risk them. Energy and resources provide huge opportunities and long-term work and investment across the world. We are very fortunate to say that we work in energy in Sri Lanka, Vietnam and Colombia. We work in coal in Indonesia, Australia and Colombia. We've worked in gold in Australia and Peru. What's important is we are able to bring a perspective to every project understand the risk and evaluate it. We work with good people and have very talented specialists who we can call in from our ecosystem to help evaluate any project or opportunity. I thought, hope you found this of interest. My name is Paul Ralftree and I'm a director with Projects RH in Sydney. Good evening and thank you.